In this video, I'm going to show you my recent Erin Condren haul from the Notebook and Accessories launch. And um, there's some good things here and some duds here. So if you're interested to find out which is which, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. I post functional planning videos three times a week, usually using Erin Condren products like my Erin Condren monthly planner. So I have three different notebooks here. It's, there's three different like page types and some of the new covers that are out. I've got a set of the focused uh, dual tip markers, the new set. I've also got the new uh, colorful gel pens, and I have this set of the vertical planner sticky notes, and then I have both sets of the new washi. So this is the productivity set, and this is the planning set. So let's start with the notebooks so that we can get them cleared out of the way. The very first one I have is the new layout. This is the priorities and notes layout. I forget the name of the cover, but I really liked it because of course I love colorful things, but I also feel like this really reminds me of um, Mary Blair artwork. And if you're not familiar with Mary Blair, if you've ever seen the It's a Small World ride at Disney World, or I think they have it at Disneyland too. I don't know, I've never been to that park, but um, that ride, the artwork for that ride is from Mary Blair. And this is really reminiscent of that. And I just, I love that. And so when I, as soon as I saw this, it reminded me of that. And um, so that's why I picked up this cover. Now the new covers going forward have this new layout on the inside. Um, I have an old cover here to show you the difference. Of course mine's covered in sticky notes but the front cover is just like a lined piece and then the back cover is just a blank piece like that. Now the new covers have this like dashboard layout, which is really cool. You've got like a title section, a line section with some like circles to check off your tasks, and then two blank sections here. And then the back cover is just a lined um, section and it's a bigger space to write as well. So these work with the Erin Condren wet erase markers and of course you could use dry erase too, but that's gonna rub off. I have found that the wet erase does rub off of this if you touch it a lot and it will get on your paper. So just be you know, aware of that if you're gonna use this. Um, I do like to use Sharpie Ultra Fines on these if I'm gonna write on these or my dashboards. You do have to take that off with alcohol, um, which I think over time could possibly damage um, the sheen on here. Um, I don't know. I haven't really experienced that myself, but just be aware. Anyway, let's talk about the layout. So this is the brand new layout that they've come up with, and this is what it looks like. It's six boxes that are reminiscent of like the 12 boxes at the beginning of your um, planners like this, but it's just um, six on one side and there are no lines. And then the other side of the spread is just the regular lined notebook page. This is super neat because I could see doing a weekly planner spread in here and turning this inexpensive notebook, well, I say inexpensive, compared to the planner prices, and it's inexpensive. Compared to just a generic notebook you can buy at a store, it is not inexpensive. Um, I believe these are now $17.50. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone so I can give you the right price here. But um, yes, so this cover is the Abstract Circles cover and it is $17.50. So the non-metallic notebooks are $17.50 and then the metallic ones are $22.50. Um, regular price if you don't have a coupon or whatever. So, um, it's not inexpensive for a notebook, but it's inexpensive if you wanna use it as kind of like a um, create your own planner situation, which is similar to what I'm doing in my monthly planner, but um, 
here I could see using this as like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then a weekend box. And then using this for like a to-do list or a task list or whatever else you need a notes page for. You could also use this as like a goals notebook. You could use this in so many different ways. You could use this as a, like a meal tracker perhaps, like you could track each meal and snack and then maybe journal or write about your workouts, like use it as like a health and wellness type planner. There's so many options here. Um, it could be a project notebook, it could be something for work, anything. The, the possibilities are endless. I purchased this honestly because it was new. I didn't really have um, a use for it personally, and um, but I really just wanted to see it and I wanted to like figure out ways to use it. And since it's not dated or anything, I think that I might consider holding on to it and trying it out as um, a planner in the future. Now, it does not have your monthly spreads the way a planner does, but there are tons of options for that. Um, planner Kate makes full page stickers that can turn a, um, a notebook into a planner, like with a monthly calendar. She also has full page stickers that can turn any page into like a, I forget what that's called, but it's basically like it's one line for each day of the month and then you can write in anything that you have going on that month. So if you wanted to use it in that way, there are options for that. So um, there are 79 spreads here. So you definitely can get a full year plus using two pages as a monthly. So you would have your, your two pages, your one spread for a monthly, and then four spreads for your weeks for the month, and um, or even five. There are plenty and you will still have leftovers at the end. Um, so there are 79 spreads and then the whole notebook looks like this. There's no color, it's gray here. And so it's a little bit lighter gray here and a little bit darker gray here. And that's how it is the entire way. And the first page you've got where it says take note and then you go directly into that first spread. And then the last page just is this gray like blank sheet here and then you do have a sheet of these stickers that match the colorful version of Erin Condren's colorways. January and the July colors are not represented here but you get that one page of stickers and then that's your back cover. So that is the priorities and notes notebook the very brand new layout from Erin Condren. Um, I have here a dot grid. This is the notebook layout I typically purchase from Erin Condren. I have a lot of this paper. This is the um, new astrology cover. It's just called Metallic Watercolor Astrology. And I am a Cancer, so I picked that one. And all of the covers are the same color. And then the metallic design here is what changes for your specific sign. So again, we've got the new inside cover. And then this one here has the take note like title page in the color blend theme. And it's just the dot grid and you've got your sheet that comes on all of these dot grid notebooks. It says the best way to get things done is to begin. Your dot grid is a five millimeter dot and then you've got the colorful logo and um, it cycles through some different colors from the Erin Condren colorful colorway. And this is standard, this is not, nothing new. The only thing new here are the covers. And on in the back of this, you have that same colorful sheet of stickers. And on this facing title page or end page is a quote that says, arriving at one goal is the start of another. And so there's the end of that notebook. 
And then this is the Boho Blooms. This is another new cover option. This one is, you're able to pick the colors. So on their website, they have like a pink background with an orange detail. I chose, this is probably Monaco and then maybe Sapphire, I believe, is the darker blue. I just, this is kind of like my jam as far as colors go. So um, one thing to note is this cover, the personalization, if you get your name or something else printed, on it is going to go here. I almost always choose not to personalize and sometimes if you don't personalize the pattern will then fill in that space but on this one it does not. So if you do not personalize it's a little blank spot. That doesn't bother me but maybe it bothers you. I don't know. Just so you know. So the inside cover is that new layout again and then I got this one in the graph notebook because I am using this as like a gardening notebook um, to kind of keep track of my garden. Every year I always forget like, you know, where the sun is in my garden and what part stays shady the whole year and stuff like that. So I thought I might have like a nice space to keep all of those notes in that um, isn't gonna get lost year after year in different planners and notebooks. And so the, the title page is all in gray for the graph and then the graph pages all have the logo in the bottom right corner and they're all gray. So you go all the way to the end to that facing page and you have the arriving at one goal is the start of another and then you have the harmony neutral color way which is like the flora if you're familiar with flora it might be in bloom I'm not quite sure because those I don't purchase those I'm not really a huge fan of that design um, but I think this is the same as the harmony neutral I think so um, You've got those and then you've got your back cover. And one thing I wanted to look at, this is the first time I've purchased a grid notebook or a graph notebook and it doesn't have that title page like the dot grid does. So I'm using this as just like a gardening notebook like I mentioned and I'm using it in this direction um, just because I wanted to do something different and I was thinking about sketching some things out and I just thought it would be better to do it in landscape form. Um, so that is the graph notebook. Now let's talk about the accessories. I want to start with these sticky notes here. I really love Erin Condren sticky notes. Um, I use them all over my planner. Um, I'm always using them. I don't have a problem with them sticking like a lot of people complain about. I have moved these sticky notes so many times. I put them on my monthly and I have been moving these for months. Every month I just move these to the next month whenever I sit down to plan my month. And so the sticky notes stick just fine. They don't fall off. I have no problems with those. Um, however, <laughs> these are not my favorite. These don't seem to hold up to the same moving around as the other Erin Condren sticky notes from the Snap-in sets, for example. Um, I don't like them. I chose the vertical ones because the format of them I thought would be the most versatile for me. And um, I liked these green ones because they look, they fit really nicely in the monthly spread. And I typically pre-plan on sticky notes. Um, I liked that this one had like little check boxes and I just thought that the size and shape of these would be the most useful for me. Um, this has not been really working out. When you pull the sticky notes off, yeah, see this whole pack fell off and it's not wanting to stick back on there. Also, the paper is not as nice as the other sticky notes. It's very thin and the stick isn't as good. It's really weird because more than one will want to come up when I'm trying to pull a sticky note off, but then it doesn't want to stick on the paper that I put it on. So I'm not super impressed with these and I would not recommend them, to be honest. Um, I believe they're $8.50. And for that price, I'd rather spend a few dollars more and get the snap-in stickies that I know are gonna be great quality. And they just have that more function with the snap-in. This is just like a paper cardstock kind of little folder. It's got this little weird clear notch here. 
um, which I understand they're trying to show the product, but I just don't, I don't get the point of it. Um, you could get one of the snap-in, um, what are those called, the coil clips that have the adhesive on it if you wanted to use it in that way, but again, for that, if you're going to purchase those and these, I would just get the snap-in sticky notes. These are kind of a dud. Don't recommend. This is something that I was super excited about. Um, the productivity washi and the planning washi that comes in a, a pack of four for each pack. And um, I think these are $8.50 as well, but I'm going to check because I want to tell you the right price. Um, so yes, it's $8.50 for this pack of four and then another $8.50 for this pack of four. So let's start with the productivity. Um, the first roll here, you've got two wide rolls and two thin rolls. So this is kind of neat because, okay, so it's a color blend, you see that right away. And it has, it's a habit tracker. So um, I'm going to cut a piece off so that I can hold it up to the camera to show you. Um, you would cut your week's worth of habit trackers off. And actually I just did two here, so let me cut it again, just to show you how much space it's gonna take up. And let me grab one of these little sticky notes here to put it on. So this is the habit tracker washi, which I completely did that one wrong, so here. <laughs> Let me fix this. All right. I cut that one too short. I cut off Thursday. So this one, I'm gonna try to focus that for you. So you can see it's like a stacked little Monday through Thursday on the top, Friday through Sunday on the bottom with a little asterisk. It takes up almost no space. It's really a cool idea. Um, I think it's innovative and different and neat. And if you're a habit tracker, this might be of interest to you. It only takes up one and a half centimeters, so 15 millimeters this way, which is also coincidentally I think the size, yes, that's 15 millimeters wide. So it makes like a perfect little square if you're just using the one week's worth of habit tracker. Um, it's an interesting concept and I like that it's, it takes up a small amount of space. So if you're doing something like me, like a week on one page in the monthly planner, or you have a bullet journal or a petite planner or something smaller, these are really cool because they don't take up a whole lot of space the way like a traditional habit tracker would. I think it's innovative and different and neat. Um, I am not a habit tracker, so I this is never going to get used, almost never. Um, but you know, there it is. And um, the rest of that set has two of these like checklist washies. And you've got one that's like a color blends. And the other one is white with metallic gold circles. And I'm trying to get this back on here. So uh, that could have been done better. But the other one is white with um, color blends words. So we've got goals, urgent, contact, today, tomorrow, to do, notes, and important. And then it goes back into goals. And so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different words. Um, so this is also a neat concept because it's it means you don't have to like purchase a bunch of scripts if you just need um, something cute that says to do every now and then. Um, However, if that's the only one you want, then you're gonna have a lot of extras and then you might feel guilty about throwing away the piece that you cut off to get to that word. So you just kind of have to figure, um, you know, if you're gonna use most of these words or not, whether or not that's gonna be useful to you. Um, and then the other one, so that was the productivity set. This is the planning set. And this one is gold metallic 
days of the week. And then of note is that there's also the word weekend. So in addition to Saturday and Sunday, you get the word weekend. And I mean, of course you get all the other days of the week as well. And that's in like a nice bright gold metallic. And, and that's on like a white background. And it is washy, so that white background is not going to cover any kind of um, writing or design or anything lines on the page are gonna show through this. The other set or the other wide roll is the months. And I really like this because it's got that same subtle color blends theme. And then the months match the Erin Condren monthly colors. So it's gonna be really useful in your Erin Condren stuff. It's gonna match always and look nice. Um, it's also on the same white background, so maybe if you're just using a notebook as a planner, this is a nice way to help you date it and it have just some little pizzazz. It's very cute and I like it. The two thin rolls, you have another checklist roll and this is also color blends, but it is, um, the dots are colorful instead of like on the other set, you've got the outside is colorful and the inside is white. So this is kind of like an opposite version of that. And the other thin one is a roll of the hours so that you can make time blocking and it's color blends. And it goes from um, six, sorry, it goes from 5 a.m. to midnight. So you are missing 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and 4 a.m., but um, it does have the rest of those times and this mostly lines up. These I've found mostly line up with the lined pages, the plain lined pages. They do not line up with the hourly lines. They do not line up with the dot grid and they do not line up with the horizontal. Yes, you can cut it shorter and get a few of them to line up, but if you're trying to, to put a lot of the um, like a lot of check boxes on one page, it's not gonna line up. I have an old set from the old washi, um, productivity washi they had. I'm not sure if this is still available, but this is Erin Condren. This lines up with the lined notebook pages perfectly and I can go down the entire page and it stays lined up. I have tried to go down the entire page with these and it does not stay lined up. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Let me put these back where they go. Okay, so these in theory are very nice. I love the concept. However, I used them for a week and I am disappointed and I have to say I cannot recommend these and let me show you why. I use them to create a spread in my monthly planner to create my weekly checklists. So, I used the monthly from the planning set to mark that it's February and that turned out nice. And then I wanted to use the days of the week to make my days of the week. Um, this washi is 15 millimeters and it takes up over two lines. I had to trim these all down and that was such a waste of time for me. Um, when you put this on the page, it takes up so much space. So if you're trying to do something like this, the way I do it, th this is not, this is gonna take up a lot of, a lot of space. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna take up, you know, two lines plus a little bit of overlap on either side. Just keep that in mind. I trimmed it down to fit in one line and I will never do that again. <laughs> um, but this didn't turn out the way I wanted it. If you're gonna use one page for a day, like kind of make your own daily lists or something, of course that would work out just fine. Um, not a big deal. I'm not familiar with like the petite, um, the petite dailies. I'm not familiar with those, so I don't know if these are going to fit in there, but just, you know, keep that in mind. The other thing that I didn't like is that you cannot write on these. So they kind of are useless as checklists. You can't check off anything unless you're using like a permanent marker. Um, the new gel pens that they released at the same time do not work on them. The markers that they released at the same time do not work on them. 
I will show you what happens close up when you try to use a gel pen, when you try to use a gel pen on them, or when you try to use an Erin Condren marker on them right here. So um, ignore that, I, dri I dripped condensation from my water glass on the other side, so that's what that is from. But the, but overall, if you're going to write on these, you cannot turn the page or use your planner in any way. You just have to check it off and leave it there and then don't turn the page, don't touch it, don't you know go over it with your hand in any way. It's not going to work. I'm actually, I don't understand. You can even see that this has a waxy coating on it versus the other um, washi roll checklist. This I've used a lot and this works fine. I can even write on this with my gel pen and it works fine. It's like a papery feel. This checklist washi has like a waxy sheen to it. And so I'm not really sure how this made it past like their quality control. I just don't, I don't get it. Um, I just, I don't understand. <laughs> That's a dud. And for that reason, I would say skip these altogether unless you want like the words. Um, any of the things that you would write on, like these are all ones that you need to write on to make them functional, um, I would skip those. If you want the words, the words are cute, but know that they do not fit in the lines on the lined paper, even though I think that the washi is meant for the lined paper. So I'm not really sure what the thought process was there either. So those are duds. I regret buying them, but hey, sometimes that happens. Um, I am gonna use this paper to do a little pen test swatch for you while we talk about the pens. I have the packaging here. Um, let's start with the colorful gel pen six pack. This is 1650 and the colors are, um, we've got bubblegum, salmon, gold, aquamarine, pool, and denim. So right off the bat, they have like this kind of like rubberized feel to them, which is nice. And they're really pretty, like they're very aesthetic. Like if you're wanting to put these in some Instagram photos or something, totally these are gonna like look great in your photos. Um, the gold accent is nice and they're just pretty. There's a little Erin Condren logo. As usual, they don't have the names of the colors written on them, but with this pack, it's not too hard to figure out which is which. So they're not click pens, they have separate caps. There's like this little gold colored tip here. Um, my biggest gripe about these is that the lids don't really stay on. Um, this one seems to be working okay, but when I first tried them, the lids were just constantly falling off. So they click into place nice when you recap it, but if you tend to put your cap on the end of your pen, it's it's not gonna stay forever. I mean, nobody writes like that, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but it's just something to note, you know? Okay, so let's start with bubble gum. And um, I'm just gonna write the name of the color. So we have bubble gum. This is salmon. This is gold. Oh, see right away, the yellow one really doesn't want to stay on there. Um, gold, and I'm like pleasantly surprised with this gold. This is a really nice color that's actually showing up on the page. Um, aqua marine. Um, pool, and it's rattling as I'm writing. <laughs> Pool, that's a very light blue. It shows up, but I don't know, in bright lighting, it's probably not gonna show up very good. And then we have denim, which is a really nice blue. All right, so they write really nice. The, the ink flows out of them really well. I feel like it's just enough 
juiciness for me. I really like a juicy pen, which is why I like to use Erin Condren paper because it just works really well with a juicy pen. Um, they don't feel dry or scratchy, which I like and appreciate. Um, I don't like the caps, <laughs> you know, I don't like that. Um, but overall, I don't know, they're 1650. So you have to figure if you really like these colors and you really like how they look, like for your Instagram photos or just because you like pretty things. Um, I don't know, I think it's a good buy for six nice pens like this. So I don't know that I will personally purchase these again, but that's just me being picky, I think. Um, I don't, I think you will probably like, if you like colorful pens and you don't mind the cap thing, I think you would like them. Okay, so then let's talk about these focused pens. So these are the dual tip markers from the focused line and this is the colorway called Sunset. Previously they had, I don't think it had a colorway name, but the previous set of pens, I really like them. These are different from the other Erin Condren dual tip markers in that they have a chisel tip instead of a medium bullet tip. So they're fine point on one end and then a chisel tip on the other. So let's start with um, Perry. And you've got like your thin chisel tip there. And then this is the color called Perry. And Dusk is the darker of the two like pinky blush kind of colors. So this is Dusk. It's like a rusty mauve, I guess you could say. And it has the same writing feel as the um, Aaron, all the other Erin Condren fine point markers. It's got that scratchy, dry kind of feel that I don't really care for. Um, this is a more peachy, more of a pink or coral kind of color, and this is just called Sunset. My phone's blowing up, hold on. Okay, um, I really like this colorway, like right off the bat. Um, I just, it's like a very nice set of colors for spring and going into summer. This is called Meyer, like a Meyer lemon, and it's a nice color. It's another yellow that's showing up pretty well on the page. Um, the fine point side, not so much, but it's not invisible either. Um, this is Pool. And that side doesn't show up almost at all. So that's kind of disappointing. And then this nice light gray color is called Storm. And this is probably, I can already see this is gonna be one of my favorites. I do love a gray marker. Um, I, I think a lot of people in the planner community do. So there's Storm. And that's a, also another very pale color on the fine point side. Okay, so um, for me, these are a definite winner just because I love that chisel tip side. I wish um, there were more chisel tip options in Erin Condren writing tools. I just, I don't know, I like that. I like these more, I think, than the highlighters. And I think it's because it's they're thinner. I don't know, I like them and I am very happy with these. These are a must buy if you like Erin Condren dual tip markers and especially if you like the focus line markers. So that is it for this video. I was disappointed with the washi and the sticky notes, but um, I really, really liked that new layout from the new notebook. And um, I really liked the focused markers and then the gel pens I could go either way on. I'm not mad that I bought them, but I probably won't buy them again when they dry out. So. Um, anyhow, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you ask any questions in the comments and um, I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.